Good morning, sir. Sir, CO4 Infantry Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Ibrahim Ait Mubali. Welcome to 4 Infantry Battalion AOR, sir. Thank you, sir. Fine, sir. Everybody waiting for you, sir. All right, sir. Permission, sir. Thank you very much. All right. After reception with quarter guard, the CDS met with elders of community of Kanilai and environs who prayed for him and the nation. CDS proceeded to take breakfast before being briefed by the Colonel Lieutenant El Krubali. After the brief, General Yankuba Drame inaugurated senior NCOs mass named after late Sergeant Sane Tumani of the battalion who died while serving his unit. Today, basically witnessed a different scenario altogether. Amongst us, you felt duty bound to remember somebody who had served with distinction. On the basis of that, you decided to name a mess in his honor. I think that's an exceptional, exceptional achievement on the side of the unit. On the basis of that, I want to commend this commanding officer for such a laudable initiative. This is the spirit of working together. It could be any one of you tomorrow. It could be me. But what is more important, we have one big family. We should not allow to be divided. We should work as a team. And remember, there's one thing we all share in common. How do we protect and defend this country? That's the onus. And that's the pledge we give to every gambler. The CDS also inaugurated the Quick Reaction Force, QRF Block, before engaging the troops in a frank but constructive interaction in the afternoon. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. In the military, every day is morning. Because it's morning you wake up. It's morning that determines how you continue with the day. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, sir. That's better. Now on the aspect of peacekeeping. Yes, the peacekeeping mission in Darfur is almost coming to an end. Ideally, we should have rotated the contingent current in Darfur in the month of April, but they went into the mission area in April of last year. However, in the month of November, we had written to the United Nations to express our intention to do the rotations, but we did not receive a reply from the UN. The Director of Peace Support Operations in the month of December went to the United Nations to attend a meeting. The meeting is more peace support operation related. He used his presence at the United Nations to have an interface and dialogue with the Department of Peacekeeping Operations through our permanent representatives. But they could not give him any answer. And then we were informed the mission instead of April, the mission was closing in July. And then, in the month of March, we receive another information from the UN headquarters through what we call a resolution, United Nations Security, Re Security Council resolution, informing all two contributing countries, as far as Darfur is concerned, to say the mission will now close in October. There's an extension because of the political uncertainty in the country at the time. Just two weeks ago, we received another UN Security Council resolution, this time telling us the mission is now closing in December. The CDS also visited Senegalese economic troops stationed in Kanelai, where he was received by the force commander, Colonel Tamba. Basis of that, we want to acknowledge and recognize that exceptional sacrifice they're making towards the maintenance of peace in this country. Reception at Sibano military post 
Inauguration of Unit Medical Center, named after late Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant Colonel Vincent Jatta. Interaction with community and meeting with troops of the unit.